Hi friends, today we're going to practice retelling a story with the story we've been reading all week, The Mitten. When you retell a story, it's really important to tell us about the major details, the major things that happen. So we don't need to tell the story word for word, but we do need to make sure that we have everything we need. So we need to talk about the characters. Do you remember who the characters were? There was a little boy named Nikki, the grandma named Baba, and then a bunch of animals. What kind of animals do you remember from the story? There was a tiny mole and a hedgehog and a badger and a fox. There was an owl, a snowshoe hare, a bear, and then the teeny tiniest field mouse. We also need to talk about where the story happened. That's called the setting. So the story happened inside of Baba and Nikki's house and then also outside in the snow around their house. Then we need to tell what happened. What's the first thing that happened? Right, the first thing that happened was Nikki wanted snow white mittens. Then Nikki lost one of his mittens and in that mitten crawled a bunch of animals. Then there was a great big sneeze that blew all the animals out of the mitten. And at the very end, Nikki found his mitten but it wasn't the same, it was stretched out. So today I have my very own white mitten and we're going to practice retelling the story with our props. So I have a mitten and I have some little animals. Let's see what happens. One day, a little boy named Nikki decided he wanted brand new white mittens. His grandma said, Nikki, if you get snow white mittens, they will blend in with the snow and you'll lose them. But he said, please, 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 Baba, I really, really want some snow white mittens. So she knitted him a pair. He went outside to play. And as he was climbing up a tree, he dropped one on the ground and went on playing. Along came a very, very cold and tired little mole. The little mole was so tired from tunneling, he saw the white mitten and he crawled right in. Next came a snowshoe rabbit. Ooh, it saw the snow white mitten, so it climbed on in. Now there are two animals in the mitten. After the rabbit and the mole had cuddled on in, along came a spiky, spiky hedgehog. The mole and the rabbit didn't want to make room, but they saw his sharp prickles and he got to crawl right into. Hmm. Does anyone remember what came next? <gasps> hoo, 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 hoo. <gasps> Along came an owl. He flew in and saw all the commotion going on in this snow white mitten, not being one to be left out. He crawled in too. Then along came a badger. He came in and he saw the mitten and he wanted in too. Not being one to argue with an animal with big sharp diggers, they let the badger in. Then came a sly thought. He saw the cozy white mitten and he wanted out of the cold too. So in he went. 
Then, when the mitten stretched and stretched and thought it could hold no more, along came a big brown bear. Wow. The bear walked over to the mitten, and not being one to be left out, the bear started making his way in. All the other animals knew there wasn't room, but they were not going to argue with the bear. As the bear is in the mitten, along comes a sweet, tiny field mouse. Squeak, squeak. She wanted in the mitten too, but there wasn't any room. So she crawled in on the one place there was room, the bear's nose and the whiskers from the field mouse tickled the bear's nose and made him go, ah, 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 choo! The great sneeze blew all the animals everywhere out of the mitten. And then as Nikki was walking by, realizing he had lost his other mitten, he saw something white coming out of the sky. What could it be? It was his snow white mitten. He caught it from the air and he walked home. Baba looked and she saw he was safe and sound. And then he also still had his two snow white mittens. Today, while you're at home on a snow day, why don't you try to practice retelling the mitten? You could use stuffed animals, you could draw a picture, or you could even get the people in your house to help you retell the mitten. Happy retelling, friends. Bye.